This is a University of Otago podcast. I've had a wonderful time. I've learnt a lot during my Masters and PhD and I think it set me up for a future in research and science. The University of Otago Christchurch campus has been really, really good. We've got a large lab and it's been really helpful in having a lot of people with which we can work with and collaborate. And we've got great facilities and it's all worked out well. And I've really developed a love of research um, and a passion for my area of research as well. The University of Otago Christchurch is strongly committed to providing full support for PhD students and would like our students to have a great time. My key piece of advice is to pick your PhD supervisor well and make sure they've got a good record of publication and of student support. The supervisors are great, um, but there's also quite a few postdocs. Um, but even, even the other PhD students, um, perm permanent employees or semi-permanent employees are all very, very helpful. And um, there was never, I never had a situation where I didn't feel that I could ask a question of someone and um, so that's made it very comfortable. Supervision has been fantastic. There's open door policy with supervisors so you can go up and discuss any issues with them at any stage. Um, the facilities are fantastic at the University of Otago Christchurch. Uh, we've got all the equipment that we need um, and everything's available to us that we need as well. It's been very interesting. I love um, the subjects that I'm studying. It's a um, very nice environment to work in. It's very good people, very supportive, very friendly, very nice. So I'm really enjoying it. When we talk about things like access and support, what do we mean in a practical day-to-day sen -day sense? Day-to-day -day sense is a student can walk straight into your office and talk about the problem they've got or about some enthusiasm they want to share with you over something they might think, uh, an experiment they might think is worth doing. Um, so it's, or they might meet you in the corridor or in the, down in the cafeteria and talk to you about what they're doing. There's no sort of appointments required. We tend to operate as a group rather than having one student, one supervisor working alone. So there's the support not only from the supervisor but from other members of the group, some of whom might be postdocs and quite experienced and working in the lab. So there are a lot of people to support and show people what to do. I think this place is a little different because we do have a lot of full-time researchers. Uh, so those are full-time scientists, uh, their teaching loads are not so heavy, they're actually paid to do research. And that makes quite a difference. Um, and so, uh, you know, I think it it's offers a much better supervision experience. Comments about the labs and the facilities? Yep, excellent facilities. Uh, I think we're pretty lucky here at the University of Otago. We just seem to have all these various machines that we get in every couple of months. And yeah, I think we're pretty, pretty lucky with that. We use functional magnetic resonance imaging. Um, we have uh, our three Tesla MRI scanners. Um, downstairs. So these are the brain regions that are active when people have uh, micro sleeps um, during, during driving or, or you know, doing a boring task for, for an extended period of time. Yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. Um, I'm expecting there to be a stressful time but one hasn't come yet. I found it a challenge but a, a very good challenge and I've found it a, a huge personal growth. I want to continue in science um, as a career and I think this has been probably the best start that I could get and hopefully it will yeah, continue. <laughs>